All right, today we're going to show you how to remediate the issues with CrowdStrike. What you're seeing right now is a system that is impacted by CrowdStrike. Here you can see we just got the blue screen. Now this might happen twice. We need the system to cycle through and get to the point where it asks you to um, select advanced recovery options. And so as you can see, it auto restarts and it's not going to do it again. You'll, you'll know it's going to go into the right area because right below the spinning circle will say, please wait. So this tells me it's going to try one more time to boot normal and we'll get the blue screen. All right, here it goes. And second, we try to interact with it. Oh, a blue, oh there it goes. All right. Now that should be the last blue screen we get with the exception of the actual recovery menu. That's also blue, but uh, not the blue screen of death like that was. And there it goes. You now see how it says, please wait. That's what we're waiting for. So that's gonna allow us to uh, select the modes that we need to be able to remediate this completely. So we'll let this run. And I'll show you everything you need to do. So the first thing you'll notice is when you're on the recovery screen, there's a button here, see advanced repair options. You're gonna click that. You're gonna click on troubleshoot. You're gonna click advanced options and startup settings. You're gonna click the restart button. Now at this point, if your system is protected by BitLocker, which this one is, you're gonna be prompted to enter your BitLocker key. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here real quick while we do that. I'll be right back. All right. Once you've entered your BitLocker key, if you have one, uh, you'll be presented the startup settings. If you do not have a, uh, a BitLocker key, it will just go right to here. Um, in this case, my identity is a uh, Active Directory uh, credential, so I have to do safe mode with networking. So I'm gonna press number five on the keyboard and that will boot the system into safe mode with networking, at which point we'll be able to type in our credential to log into the box. All right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and just type in in my credential here real quick. Okay, let me sure spell everything right. Okay, try it again. Oh, okay, I've got an error because my keyboard, I've been dealing with chatter on some of my keys. There we go. All right, once you're in safe mode, easiest thing to do is send uh, control alt delete and you hit task manager and you can go full screen with it. Run new task. So Windows 10, there's a file option and some Windows 11 also has file. In this case, you just go to run new task and we're gonna run PowerShell. Now you can do this in CMD as well, but we're gonna use PowerShell. It's a little bit more forgiving. You can use tab to autocomplete as well. So um, you can see PowerShell icon running in the background. It didn't go in the foreground so we'll, we'll minimize task manager and we're left here so from here you're going to change directories cd into drivers what's nice again is you can type just the first couple letters and hit tab it auto completes so we're going into the drivers and crowdstrike directory and here we are going to then type in the rm for remove we're going to do dash force and then the file name, one, two, three, four, five. There's five zero, so C dash zero zero 
0-0-0-0-2-9-1 star. And we'll hit enter. And that's it. And you should be good. And from here, we'll go ahead and restart the system. Can hit control delete again, come down here, bottom right, hit restart. And we'll know if this fixed it by the system should start up in regular mode where you can sign in without any blue screens. And I'll share the exact commands and steps here in the video description as well. All right, looking good so far. Make sure I don't have any chatter going on. Nope, that looks good. There we go, we're logged in. Back in the regular mode, we're good. So that's how you address the CrowdStrike problem. Pretty easy if you have the, your BitLocker key. I think that's probably the biggest problem. I'd say the second biggest problem is you have to physically be at the system as well. So in cases where you are remote and you don't have physical presence to be able to get that safe mode going, that's going to be difficult as well to overcome. For those of you that are interested uh, and understand a little bit more about what happened, CrowdStrike did release an article updating uh, exactly what happened. High level is even if you have a policy set for controlling sensor version updates, this would have still been impacted uh, because the channel file does not um, align to sensor version updates. So basically what that means is the newest version is like 7. I think 16 or something like that. Um, this impacted version 7.0 clear to the latest version. And so what that means is they have a channel file process that gets updated multiple times a day in the background and, and you don't even know about it. It's been that way since day one with their uh, technology and architecture. And a, a good way to think about it is basically uh, the way antivirus used to work um, and still does work uh, is based on uh, definition, signature updates. Um, and so if, if you think of it from that perspective, what, basically what CrowdStrike was doing was they were uh, they've identified a, an attack vector uh, through what are called name pipes. And so these name pipes had problems um, and uh, that or take a step back for those of you that are not familiar with name pipes. Microsoft uses Microsoft Windows specifically uses name pipes in a legitimate fashion, but hackers abuse them as well. And it uh, CrowdStrike had witnessed a, a uh, command and control uh attack that was going on that was abusing some name pipe um, attack uh, strategy. And so they updated their channel file to account to identify based on the behavior analytics part. And so if, if your sensor doesn't communicate to the cloud for whatever reason, um, let's say connection drops or you're in an air gap network or whatever the case is, um, the idea is a lot, a lot of the machine learning behavior analytics is locally on the system as well. And so this channel file was to update that behavior analytics piece. And it was looking for and, and attempting to respond to the uh, threat in um, the, uh, the name pipe space, uh, which unfortunately it looked like it had blocked or uh, it caused uh, issues with legitimate name pipes, which then triggered this entire blue screen of death loop. Um, so it'll be interesting to see their postmortem, their true root cause analysis to see exactly how this got through testing successfully. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, as of right now, um, there is no indication that this was uh, malicious intent or they were compromised. Uh, CrowdStrike is still the leader in the security space for a reason. Uh, and, and I think that that's proof by how many customers were actually impacted here. So still using CrowdStrike, we still highly recommend it. We're actively um, 
in the process of cleaning up this mess. Hopefully it doesn't happen again, but we did learn a good lesson learned here. Uh, there is another area to control some of those channel file updates. So we'll be uh, reviewing those in, in the later video. Uh, we can do a deeper dive into some policy settings on the CrowdStrike console side for those of you that, that want to see the best way to set it all up. So thank you for watching. I know that was a little longer than normal. Um, definitely like and subscribe and drop your comments below if you have any questions or want to see any other videos. Thank you for watching.